So, I got a question. Sure. Is this an anti-Obama thing? This is whatever you want to perceive it to be. This is what I see. Well, that's fine. This is what I see. Do I see a man that has lied to you? Yes, because he's lied to me. You know, how? How about the fact that I wanted to see George Bush and Dick Cheney in jail? How about the fact that there were a lot of investigations going on when this man got in office that would have put him there? But what was the first thing he did when he got in office? He wouldn't have stabbed everybody in the back by saying, oh, we got to look forward. We got to, we can't be bundled up with looking backwards. But it'll be a mess. Look, we got to put bygones, be guy bonds, and he let those mass murderers off the hook. But that wasn't good enough. Come August of 2013, when this man was trying to go to, go to Syria to fight on the side of Al-Qaeda in Syria, something George Bush wouldn't even dare do, there were two civilian cases going to court that would have put the entire Bush administration in jail. He stepped in and had Holder quash those cases and then proceeded to give the entire Bush administration immunity from war crimes. So even if they did commit the crimes, we can't charge them now because of that son of a bitch. So if you want to know, do I like him? No. Does that answer your question, young lady? saying the blacks got to fight the whites and the Dems got to fight the Republicans and the, and the yellows got to fight so the browns. So what's this? What's the, one? So you feel huh? as if you're, you're a, a Librian? A what? A Librian? A Libertarian. I like a lot of their views, but again, it's a label. I don't like labels. I like, you know, I'm looking at you. Who are you? You're a guy, right? What's your name? LT. Hey, you're LT. Hey, LT. How you doing, brother? See? This is it. I ain't asking you. You're just, you're just being you, here. right? You ain't trying to. What am I if I ask you, what are you? What are you? What are you going to tell me you're going to be? I mean, you're going to tell me that you're what? Liberal? Uh, Democrat. A Democrat. Okay. Meaning what? What does that mean? I'm more for the Lord class, more about the not, not trying to tax the Lord class, and struggling already. But that hasn't happened. We're getting more tax more now, Democrats at all. That we've never been before. We're bigger, we're bigger debt. They took in more taxes. This last for any record number of taxes. Record number of taxes, and we got record number of debt. So how how did that help? You have you have a you have a Democrats in office right now. I think how do how they work? How they work? How they work? They're working together. They're both working you know, like together. I've never seen Uncle Sam. I was thinking that they did. I've never seen Uncle Sam. You look like Uncle Sam. They're taking my pocket, man. They're taking my pocket. Wow, he said he wanted it all. I'm blaming this Uncle Sam. She ran off. That's his thing. He brought a little Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam. Brother, now you gotta get out of the labels, brother. That's what I'm trying to say. They're trying to put us in boxes. Like they want Democrats fighting the Republicans. They want us in boxes. They want the blacks fight, the whites fight, the yellows fight, the browns fight, the reds, and everybody fight the police. So we don't pay attention to the real ones that are stealing from us. The elites. The elites. See, this election this year was supposed to be against Bush and Clinton. That didn't happen. No one was supposed to get the game that had their own money. Right? So who would you vote for? Right now, there's only one choice. Love him, hate him, I don't know what the hell there is. What's this right for? Right there, that's so that might protect you. Oh, yeah. How old are you? I'm 69, just turned 69. How am I doing? So who are you voting for? Right. How old are you? 21. Uh, uh, who am I voting for? One, let's see if we get to see an election. I'm thinking we're not going to have one. I don't think Obama's going to leave office. Oh, if he doesn't, I'll be glad. Well, no, you won't, because then it will be hard for you. You understand, it's going to be a revolution. 
This man has done nothing for you. He's opened up the borders and allowed every swing and superior to come up here and take your jobs. That's why black unemployment has doubled under his un un occupation. But if you go to Atlanta, you won't be all jobs. Okay, fine, but I'm telling you, black unemployment is doubled under Obama. Okay, look at this. Right. Help you. So, so do you smoke with Obama? Whether I do or not, I don't think anybody's business. I don't think it's the government's business or anybody else. You're an adult. What right do I have to come up and tell you what to do? What to put in your body? Aren't you 21 years old? That ain't what I asked you. I said, you know what I'm saying? We made sure. And indeed, I'm, that's the interest. I'm saying, listen, man, if you want to light up right now, you know, you want to pass it to me, I don't think I'd refuse. How's about that? <laughs> And that's the way it should be. I find it offensive at the age of 21, when you get to an age of consent, right? Probably 18, 20, I think that's it. But, you know, whatever. Well, a lot of people are 18. You're, you know, when you go back in time, man, when you got to be 16, you were a man. You know, you had to be a man. You were out there doing that for the age of 16. But anyway, we came close to using that. But anyway, with the age of consent, if you want to go snort Drano tonight, go ahead. I ain't going to stop you. I'm going to tell you, don't do it. I don't want to see you hurt yourself, you know. But, you know, but you know it's going to hurt you, but that's your business. You're 21. You're going to know what's going to happen if Drano, if you snort Drano, so you're not going to be stupid enough to do it, right? So, do what you want to do. As long as you're not hurting anybody else, have a good time. So, what's this mean? <laughs> that means you're going to get fucked up the ass. What about that one? That one? You saying, yes, it, yeah. you saying because the yeah. yeah. You Understand. Black lives and this is Obama yeah. right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Black Lives Matter and we killing the police. I'm glad you're asking about this. Because okay? this one gets kind of deep. Right. And they all white. What I said earlier, right? You're right, I should put it on black. Because black cops can kill people. That's really a lot of of them were black. Yeah, I understand. Black and Hispanic. Yeah, but thank you. I should do that. And I'm gonna, I just made this one. I made it a very. I'm going to do that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but again, this is part of that divide and conquer thing I was talking about earlier. You know, they keep on want this to fight with me. Like I said, the guy uh, Larry uh, Nichols earlier, we started out. This guy's on his deathbed, and he's just letting loose. He's saying these are the people I killed for money. These are the drugs they brought in. I brought them in. Okay. So now he's blowing the whistle. He's on his deathbed. He doesn't care. Like I said, the guy uh, Larry uh, Nichols earlier who started out. This guy's on his deathbed, and he's just letting loose. He's saying these are the people I killed for me. These are the drugs they brought in. I brought them in. Okay. So now he's blowing the whistle. He's on his deathbed. He doesn't care. Did you shoot these? I like to tell people I did. <laughs> you can't. Come on. This is pretty interesting. Uh, very interesting. I want to hear it, but I want you to tell me about this one. This one right here? No, that one. And then you can tell me about this one. I want to hear about this one. Yeah. This one. George looked like Ferguson. All of these. They're trying to, you know, you've that race is a big issue, right? But we were getting along, man. Just elected a black president. Oh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. It was better than a president. Okay. I'm, well, I mean, it's still the same now. It's just that. But you white see, the people. Black Again, I can show you the statistics. See, liars don't figure, figures don't lie. There's, this is all part of the divide and Get us fighting with one another and then fighting against the police and the police and stuff. That keeps us busy while they keep on stealing from us. Because you're familiar with George Soros? Do you know who he is? George Soros is a, he's like the Donald Trump of the Democrats. Okay? He's super, super wealthy. A fossil of a man, he's like 89 years old, right? But rich as hell, looks horrible. He used, but he used to be, this is how he started, made his money. He's made his money selling out his fellow Jews to the Nazis. 
He would sell them out, confiscate their property. That's how he got his riches. He's the guy that's the billionaire behind the Democrats. He funded Black Lives Matter. He put $34 million into the Ferguson riots so it would be a conflict. He's trying to start a race war. George Soros. Look him up. Let me give you something to yeah, let me give you some take with you. Give me something I can look up. Yeah, man. Look, you want to go to go to this and listen to InfoWars.com, right? Good news broadcasting. 